Okay guys, in this tutorial, uh, you'll fix the error. It's a driver verification detected violation. So the stop code is, it's a driver, uh, it's a verifier uh, detected violation. So your PC ran into the problem and needs to restart. If you guys are getting the error like this with a stop code, it's a driver verifier detected violation error. You guys can follow the tutorial, uh, number of solutions in this tutorial, on the other solutions, I hope it helps. If the issue is still persist, uh, what are you guys going to do? You're going to check for uh, some other solutions. And if this video really helps you, you're going to share this with your friends and family. I hope it uh, helps. Okay guys, so you give a right click on C drive and then click on properties and then here we have click on tools and then after here click on check for error checking. So you get this, it's have to click on a scan drive. Give it time to check for the errors. So you can see what your drive was scanned successfully. So no error of found. So if it is any errors, it's gonna display over here. Even you can click on show details to see for the any errors if the error occurs. So currently when you click on show details, you can see it shows uh, all the errors and everything right over here. In case if there is uh, any kind of error, Restart the PC once and check if the issue is fixed. You're going to choose command prompt and click on that. You're going to choose the user account. So you might be having a multiple number of user in your computer. So you're going to choose the user. Make sure you have a administrator privilege to the user. Enter the password if you have password for your account and click on continue. And now here you have a command prompt. Okay guys, I hope command is visible. It will locate the bad sector and recover some of the files that is readable. So guys, you just have to press enter key after you type it correctly. Now you can see it is going on, everything is in process. Just give some time. Doing this might take a pretty long time. So you just give some time. Finally, once you're done, you're gonna press exit. So if it asks you for the, any kinds of permission in your computer, like yes or no, you're gonna type Y for yes, and then press enter key. So finally, it's all done. You can exit it, and now restart your computer. Okay guys, you're gonna type the command, SFC space slash scan now. It needs to be together and press enter key. So it will take some time, uh, let it to complete 100% and you're all done. Okay guys, you can sit down with the 100%. Now just exit it. Okay, let me exit it and press enter again. Finally, we we'll just uh, give a restart to your PC and check if uh, it fixes your issue. Okay guys, update the driver. Give a right click on this PC or on my computer. So more options and here you have a manage. So you will click over here on device manager. And here you have a drivers. So anywhere you wanna, you see this drop down icon, you're gonna click on it. Anywhere you see the 
hello exclamatory sign in any of this driver what you're going to do is just give a right click on it and update the driver if you have downloaded it from somewhere click on browse from my computer for the driver and you're going to show the locations or you can search over the internet automatically it will automatically search for the driver and install it even you can search for the update on windows update it will search for it on a windows update you can update the pc along with your pc update your drivers will be updated so this should fix your issue go to source and type update here you have check for updates click on it are you going to type check for updates straightly so when you type check for updates you're going to see this window what you're going to do is you can download and install the updates or you can just check for the updates it will check for all the necessary updates Finally, you can see it is downloading and installing and then after you can restart your PC. Do not forget to restart for the changes to take effect. So this will fix the issue. It's a, some, uh, you can see this one is completed manually. Just download and install. If any options over here, it is a manually to download and install. You have to download and install manually and restart your computer for the changes to take effect. So this should fix the issue. Okay, guys, we'll turn off the CPU overclocking. So it's an easy way. Go to the source and we're going to type edit power plan. So here you have options in a control panel to edit power plan. Here we'll click on change advanced power setting. We'll come down. And here you have a process, uh, it's a processor power management. Click on this uh, plus icon. You have a minimum processor state and maximum processor state. So the minimum processor state is okay on battery 5%. When plugged in, it's a 5%. Maximum processor state is on battery 100% and plugged in 100%. So we'll change it to 99%. Okay, and then we'll click on apply. And then we click on OK. So don't, it's a very easy way. Now what you can do, we play, hold the Windows key and R in your keyboard. We'll type here appwiz.cpl. And then I'm going to click on OK. So you're going to check down over here. So lots of unwanted program that you do not even use it. So all those programs that you do not use it in your uh, laptop, you're going to uninstall it. Just give a right click on it and uninstall it. So it's just the easy way uh, you could uh, manage uh, the CPU overclocking. I hope this fixed your issue.